eight hour of the morning. Uh, shut up! At the conclusion of X007, uh, it's been a fantastic event. Um, been here since, I don't know, four o'clock this afternoon, the prelims. Um, very interesting stuff, and obviously a huge card and a huge night of action. Uh, congrats to all the people who took part in it, all the fighters that took part in it. Um, anyone who steps in a ring deserves a big round of applause, and it was an amazing evening and an advert to this space. Um, we then saw a statement um, made by JJ on the route to road, route or road to legacy, mm. um, taking on Joe Fournier, um, obviously nine and zero previously undefeated pro fighter. Um, top 10 WBA, WBA international champion in the past and putting on a, another show reel um, in, a, in a brutal display, in a, in a display of in and out uh, boxing and um, a very, very conclusive win, which obviously sets up some interesting fights in the near future, which I'm sure you'll come on to in a minute for me. Um, Mams, perhaps you want to add something also to the, the other great fights on the card that you, you especially put together. Um, Salt Pappy, big surprise tonight. Yeah, I, yeah. Think he got the, I think he got the number of rounds wrong. I think he requested it, if I understood that correctly. I think, I think it would have worked in Salt Pappy's favour had it been a longer fight. But Anthony Taylor and his team had an amazing game plan, uh, executed it really well, got the win. And Anthony Taylor got a very well-deserved prime fighter of the night, 25K bonus. And then, um, obviously, we had uh, Virus and DK Money. Mm. DK looked better than he'd ever Maybe. been. Yeah. And got the knockdown and then got knocked out viciously by yeah, Virus, who gets yep. the prime knockout of the night bonus, 25K. Um, Tennessee, Thresh, and Pagey Cakey back and forth. These girls have put in the hours been speaking to their coaches. Um, really, really nice to see the commitment that they put in back and forth. Neither of them, you couldn't count them out. And um, for eight weeks of training, I'd love to have them back, you know? Um, so that was wonderful. Then Belzy and Kimchi as well, <laughs> back and forth nonstop. Yeah. So a night of great action. And of course, Deji um, with the win, nice, comfortable win, Swarm's uh, what a transformation he's made as well from the first fight. Like mm. his body transformation looks amazing. Um, and he's improving in the ring. So well done to him. And um, then, of course, KSI, the nightmare, showed why he is the nightmare. Joe, nice. I think he dominated that from start to finish. Um, Joe really came in with a lot of confidence and seemed relaxed as well until he felt the power of KSI. Um, and then I think his hesitation caused him to get hit a little bit more. And JJ measured him in the first, was just figuring him out in the first round, then closed distance on him in the second and drowned him out and just uh, really kind of ended, was going to end at will. Um, so really overall fantastic night. Really pleased with it. Yeah. JJ, <clears throat> maybe tell us how it felt to be back. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been that long this time, but... Well, um, yeah, well, I mean, last time I was back, what, it was January? Yeah. Yeah, I'm man. Regular it's, now, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm, it's, it's like I'm a two professional. Two in one night. Is, uh, <laughs> this is what we there. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Well, I mean... Four, it, four fight in uh, seven months. It hasn't even been a year since Misfit started. Yeah. In August. Um, and we've already done, what, seven incredible events. I remember the home video on the Sunday to launch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, it was wild. But yeah, you know, today... It was a tough test, you know, me against Joe Fournier. You know, he had the experience on me. And, you know, as soon as I hit him with a few couple shots, I just knew, like, he like he gave me the eyes when he was like, oh, raw. So, at that point, he was very standoffish. And that's where I was able to really just close him down and uh, shorten the distance. And then second round, I came through with that overhand. The shot that he said I wouldn't be able to land on him came through with it. And then from then on, I just... He, bro, he was like trying to grab me for dear life, trying to just hold me, just trying to figure out where he was. And then from then on, I just hit him, right, boom, and that was uh, it. Did you, you've obviously had some, you know, some, anyone who gets in the ring, as I said before, uh, your opponents before have 
obviously been valiant opponents mm. um, and no disrespect to Pineda. Mm. You know, he's a different sort of a, a pro boxer, let's say. Is tonight yeah. was your first opponent that was a proper professional boxer. A proper, proper test. So did, did you yeah. notice that when you were trying to find that range um, with the in and out, did you, did you find it... I mean, it obviously didn't take too long, but but was yeah. it different? What was different about the? Well, I I, I just I just realized he didn't let me do what I wanted to do, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to try a different plan. So yeah, I think you might have seen me do a few switch steps, um, and also just try to like do a few double doubles. I don't. This probably means nothing to you, but like in my head, like just to cross over my legs, just go in the southpaw and try some stuff, and then. Uh, yeah, you know, I went back to the basics, just the overhand, and it was just there. It was open. He just left it, left his head there for that massive shot, and then that just fully rocked him. And at that point, he was just trying to survive. He was in survival mode, and uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. And tell me something. I've done. I don't know. I've promoted in Wembley Arena probably about twenty years, and mm. I've never seen a main event warm up. Um, during the undercard and the loading bay, yeah, uh, was that was that a preparation for what was to come well, later in the evening, or I, what were you actually? What, I was well, trying the, to work out what you were the doing. The funny thing is, <laughs> so I was I was telling Alexis, I thought it was like, a look alike at first. I, I was telling Alexis, bro, we've never done this before, and he was like, yeah, yeah, we did in the last in the last um, fight, and I was like, no, we definitely didn't. But then I was like, all right, well, we we started doing it, and then, bro, everyone started showing up with the cameras. Yeah, yeah, no, it was I, just I full of me. But yeah, yeah, we, you know, with warm ups are it's the very first important. I've ever seen. Yeah, and warm ups. <laughs> well, yeah, man, I, I did my thing. I felt fresh. I felt alive. I felt ready, man. And you know, even with the two, what one, two shots that he hit me with, I just ate them. And I was like, yeah, yeah, bro, this this guy can't do anything to me because I just know how hard I train. You know, in camp, how you know the people I spar with, you know, it's at such a high level. So. Yeah, for me, I just know whenever I touch you, it's you're going to sleep. We obviously saw, um, I mean, there's lots of interesting fights out there, but clearly mm. we, had a, we had a visitor here tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tommy, a, Tommy Fury. Was an interesting... Te yeah, te yeah, man. I won that fight, bro. I won that fight. And I already Seems know... He wants no, it as well. I already know people are going to doubt me being like, you have no chance, there's no way. And I'm like... Try me, fam. Put me in the ring. Everyone's saying, oh, you've got power, this, blah, 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 blah. And then I show people me knocking them out, you know, beating them constantly. And then you're like, oh, he's not that good. Oh, he's not that good. And then when I go in and beat the people that you didn't think I'd beat, then, then what? So we close Tommy next. I want Tommy, bro. Okay. Give we me Tommy, man. We get that done. Right. If you're in next. We go to the floor. JJ, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go one at a time, Brahim. Uh, Radio Rocky. Uh, we saw you reviewing a knockout shot when mm. you sat down. Fournier has called that an illegal shot. Mm. He's even going so far to say that it was an intentionally illegal shot. What's your response to that? Well, I hit him with an overhand. He came through trying to survive right to the body. He's trying to grab hold of me and then I gave him a right hook. Did you feel anything on the elbow? Is, is there any Honestly, it, it was so fast. I didn't even think that I hit him with the elbow. If you look back at it, sorry, I'm just to jump in, but I've had these situations a few times before in boxing. Um, he, he, he throws the first flurry of punches. Fournier steps back, he's clearly, the flows have rocked him. He comes in, and yes, there's a right hand that goes over. Um, you can see the best shot is if you look behind the head. You see when the fist goes past the chin, the m head moves. So the movement has been caused by initially by the punch. Yes, there's a follow through. You can see it's, it's not an elbow, actually. It's a, more of a forearm that, that comes across it. That happens in big fights. I've had it ha happen early this year with um, uh, Refresh Me Raheem, Liam Smith and uh, Chris Eubank Jr. It happens in, in flurries of punches. You know, um, it's not intentional. It's absolutely not intentional. It's nothing that's going to change the decision or something. It's something that happens in boxing. But it's not, I mean, there's no way in hell that he throws that. You'd be the... You, He'd be a boxing genius if he managed to, 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 I to, to pull the elbow. I, I, I always, I always it, doesn't happen, it doesn't happen like that. Why would I want to illegally hit him? It just makes no sense. 
Tommy Fury, after a knockout like that, he still says that Jake Paul is better than you, that you'll be easy for you. Oh, okay, well, put me in the ring. Put me in the ring. Bro, a lot of times, Jake Paul hit with an overhand. And bro, like, Tommy just ate it. Jake Paul ain't got power like me, bro. I'm different. Are you approaching fighting differently? Like the first round, a little unorthodox, awkward angles, mm. an intentional approach to fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know, like, this is what we've all worked on. And basically, with me, I'm just an awkward guy. It's hard to find someone that spars like me because if I just, if I'm just like traditional, oh, jab, right hand, jab, right hand. Yeah, you know, there's, you can get several guys like that. Whereas with me, mm. I like to just switch it up, be different, be all over the place. And it works. I still win every time I get wins. Uh, JJ, we spoke just before uh, on the Thursday in the, after the press conference, mm. how special it was to be on the same card again as your brother, Desi. Yeah. I mean, how special is it now? Oh, well, it's incredible. Got, uh, yeah, yeah. De I mean, look, Deji, I always said he can be one of the best in the scene. And he just keeps smashing it, man. Like, he just looks so comfortable. And the shot selection was phenomenal. He was just, the footwork was nice. Yeah, bro, he was just catching swarms, and swarms just didn't know what to do with them. And do you feel like the more fights you have, the more pressure you've got on your shoulders, but you're a man that likes fighting under these well, pressure moments? For me, I, I love the pressure. And I, bro, I bring it on to myself. Bro, look how I talk online, especially. You know, people always saying I'm, I'm like an anime character when I speak and all this and that. And <laughs> I think I'm the villain. Bro, you know, I do it on purpose because I want all the pressure. I want people to want me to fail. And then when I keep proving them wrong, I just get to laugh in their face. And, and it feels one, great. <laughs> and the one thing uh, I didn't say, correct me if I'm wrong, but you said in the press that you were going to dance in him. When you want to one, I didn't yeah, I did, I did, I did a little, I did a little dancing, I did a little, the, but no, it was never, yeah, I, I wanted to, um, yeah, be respectful and uh, look, he got into the ring and any any man that gets into the ring uh, deserves respect and yeah, I went over to him, I said, you know, unlucky and then we moved, moved on. JJ, I'm not sure if you saw earlier on the night, but Tommy Fury and just heard him coming to a bit of a brawl. I didn't see this. Well. After this, I'm watching it. I don't know what brought on that. Okay. He got physical with you, uh, Prasa. Do you see yourself retaliating a similar thing happening? Um, what, in terms of me and Tommy? Yeah. Well, we got pretty physical in the ring. I mean, do you not see what happened in the ring, brother? No, I'm talking outside the ring. Yeah, I'll slap him. Yeah, <laughs> quick slap. Do you think, is there a genuine dislike in your part towards I him? think for me, I just... Like, my hatred is towards people who think that they're better than me in this influencer boxing scene. When, when you sized him up face-to-face, -face, yeah. that's why for the first time, what you see when you look in the eyes? Yeah, you know, he's a big guy. You know, it reminded me of Logan Paul, you know, who was also a big guy. But I have no fear, man. I, I always take risks. My whole life has just been risk on, upon risk upon risk. And I reap the rewards because of it, so... JJ, uh, congratulations on your victory. Thank you. Um, look good, good performance, but I have to go back to that situation after knockdown because on social media, it's, it's popping up everything. Angle knockdown. In my opinion, if I'm completely honest, it does look like the elbow landed before the punch. But I just want to say, Joe Fournier did walk past. I think he wanted to say to you that you didn't win clearly. I didn't hear it correctly. Mm. Guy, Kale, uh, Mam if Joe wants to, uh, you know, go to the commission and, and have a word with that, say they're going to get anything done about that or? But let me just quickly take that. Uh, you're a boxing reporter, or what's your background? Yes, yes, I'm a what's your, I've never, I've never seen you at a boxing press press conference before. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask you a question. What angles you seen? I can show uh, you. Yeah, you, you show me afterwards. But let me. Uh, we, we've we've answered the question on it. There's there's one angle. I'll give it. I'll give it to you totally right. One angle looks like a straight elbow. Absolutely. <laughs> but there's also the key angle. If you look at behind the head. That's the angle that you look at at the commission. That's the angle where you see which which part, when the head moves. If the head moves, then clearly there's impact. Are we agreed on that? So look at the angle from behind the head. So thank you for the question. That's more questions to Joe Fournier if he wants to put in a protest. I've heard they, they're, they're going to. If they do, brilliant. That's down to the commission. But we'll just talk about the results tonight in the future, please.
a final question for me though is also you walked out with books in Iran. Mm. Big big iron entrance. You did speak about how you're gonna make a plastic entrance. Yep. Um just talk to me about that was big for you. Well yeah, I mean, you know, it made sense obviously with the whole boxing uh, link up. Um, it'd be sick to have him in the ring, you know, get him fighting, especially on Misfits. But uh, yeah, man, it just made sense. He came through with a verse, killed it, and I was like, yeah, bro, walk me out, man. Let's make history tonight. JJ, um, I know you're focused on Tommy Fury. Mm. Uh, you made your WrestleMania debut. Yeah. Um, and then you've gone against uh, Joe Fournier. Can we expect to see more WWE appearances now, now that you made your debut? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I don't know how many bumps I can take, especially <laughs> like that, bro. I don't know if I can take Logan Paul jumping from 10 feet onto me. How did it feel to take that bump from Logan Paul? Uh, it, it winded me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's why I didn't move for a while <laughs> when I was down there. But uh, yeah, look, I, I fully enjoyed the experience, but um, I will leave it to the professionals for sure. And what's with uh, Logan Paul returning to boxing? Is there any updates on that? Because he's had an extension from his WWE contract. Is he coming back into the boxing world? And what's the updates on that? Watch this space. We'll see. Jay, I'm back here. Um, you've got an August 26th date booked in London, I think at the O2. Is that the date you would ideally like for the Tommy Fury event? You're very well informed, sir. <laughs> uh, I'd like to know your contact to the O2. That's interesting. Well, look, there's a London date announced. So there's a London date, yeah. There's a London date. We've got one in September, then we've got one in October. We don't actually have one in August, I don't believe. So oh, it's you're it's close. It's you're close. You're close. It would be the anniversary of 01, actually. Yeah. It would be nice. But no, it, it's, there's an early September and there's one that's a little bit later. Um, but as I said, we haven't, we haven't made a deal with Fury yet. We'll sit down, we'll do the business side of things, <coughs> and we get we get fights done. That's yeah, what we do. I assume that's the time frame you would like, correct? I mean, I'm ready whenever. Tomorrow. I'm ready whenever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just let these guys do what they need to do. Obviously, there's a lot of logistics, but and yeah. Did, did you catch, uh, I'm, I'm sure you didn't, but uh, your best friend, Jake, shot a little tweet out. Saying I ain't seen nothing. A, a disqualification no I, I didn't see nothing. Is that with the... <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I, I need to probably see it because I felt like I hit him with the, the right. Of course he's going to... Of course he's going to... Duck Paul is going to start Duck talking. Paul. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that's just his style. He likes to hate on uh, JJ every chance he gets, especially now that he's got an L in, in that column, you know? He's, he's taking a big <laughs> loss. He wants Jake. It don't, it, it, don't, it don't hit the same anymore, man, with Jake. I think we've moved on from Duck Paul. He's ducked too hard. Go for Tommy and then see what's next yeah. after that. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did it? That's one. Oh, you know, you're killing it with the boxing scene. <laughs> yeah. You're killing it with the boxing scene. never take that out. I don't know if you've seen uh, Jillian's hairline surgery, but <laughs> <laughs> do you think that would be next on your to-do list? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? After seeing Gideon's transformation and seeing the amount of love he's been getting, it was tempting. But I think maybe after my boxing career is over, I'll, I'll consider it. But right now, I feel like it helps, you know, shine off all the shots to the head. Yeah, I feel like with, with the hairline, they would have catch my head a bit more. Yeah. It's like a force field against the hate as well. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> it bounces off. Oh, okay. Jay, the Soul Poppy is probably the second most popular uh, Misfits boxer. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he took his first loss tonight. What are your thoughts on that? Have you had an opportunity to speak with him? Yeah, I mean, Andy Taylor just did his thing, man. The tactics were perfect with Andy Taylor. I think with Soul Poppy, he should have asked for more rounds, man. <laughs> he should have. Uh, yeah, like the three rounds fucked him up. <laughs> like, it just, it didn't help. Like, we saw Pabby, he's a patient guy and he was working. trying to catch a man. Yeah, he, he was working counter to catch him. I don't yeah, so catch I, him. I didn't really understand the logic behind it, but yeah, fair play to uh, uh, Anthony Taylor. And you get more into rematch, you might see that on the next card. Yeah, you never know. I think I think definitely with more rounds. <laughs> definitely not three Ten rounds. Rounder. That's like Ten rounds, yeah. yeah. We'll have Poppy come back and fight. You know, listen, it's his first loss. He's a young fighter. Yeah. Um, Anthony Taylor for him that opened a lot of doors as well um, and I always promise the winner's going to have a lot of opportunities and also even the cool thing about Misfits is look at Deji he lost his first three fights yeah. right 
now he's won two fights and he's done amazing and he's still getting big fights. So it's not like traditional boxing that a loss defines your career. So Salt Happy will be back bigger, better, stronger. Right. Um, One from Fred. Fred, just a second, Fred. Another question. It's interesting what Matt was saying there about how in in his boxing, you can have a number of losses, like David, for example, mm. and bounce back. But in boxing, you have one or two losses. And, and then no one cares. Yeah. Why do you think that is different about in his boxing? Sorry? Why do you think it's so different? Well, because it's, it's just entertainment. And I feel like we have a better community in the influencer boxing scene compared to traditional boxes. I feel like a bit more ruthless. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. A bit more ruthless and dangerous. No, you know what it is? They actually give you the most shit ever. Like, they kill you online, but their memory spans are shorter. Like, they're more forgiving. So it's like... I've looked off the Klitschko. They got Vladimir Klitschko lost three times by knockout and then went on to become heavyweight champion and stay heavyweight champion undefeated for 10 years. So you learn as a pro as well Mm. that... The difference is, and that was uh, from Donnelly, the, the question, you know, that, you know, straight away, Jake Paul, you know, who's got a lot of followers, fair enough, mm-hmm. it comes out and, and, and has a pop. It's, it's clear that we get questions that it's, uh, you know, an elbow. But if there was a, in, a, in a boxing fight, sorry, the, the press well, Jake comments Paul again, wants to be a Hall of Famer. You, don't, you wouldn't get those fight. questions of that, of that flurry of punches where he's clearly taking him out with the first shot. And he's rocking and rolling. He's coming with another one, two, boom. And he's finished maybe on a forearm, which is after a punch. Sorry, that doesn't happen in normal boxing. So I, this space is about the love and the hate. It's about mm. the reaction. So is that, is that a normal reaction? Of course it is. And we'll ride on it. And then, you know, it's, tomorrow's another day. You know, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. 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 He was willing to offer Jake Paul and Rankin if he beat Tommy Fury. You face Tommy Fury and beat him. Will you be seeking that same ranking? I'm putting a call into Mauricio on Monday. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, I, might, I might do it tonight on the way out. <laughs> He'll be up with a tequila now, so I'll give him a call. Um, um, thank you. Uh, Good question. And Jake Paul's been on this one-upmanship, uh, and now KSI seems to be on the trajectory to fight Tommy Fury. Tom, uh, Jake Paul put a rematch clause in his fight with Tommy. Would you look to signal your intent and confidence by not putting the rematch clause? I don't think we well, need he to... didn't use the rematch no. clause, though, did he? He didn't use it, yeah, because he knew he was yeah. going to lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> he was going to lose again, and then he'd be, what is it, 5-2, and 6-2, and two, whatever it is. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I don't think we need a rematch clause with anyone at this point that we're going to take on. Tommy, next, no rematch clause needed. Let's let's run this thing. Hmm. And, then, stay, and then... I'll stay you in five months. Sorry? I'll stay you in five uh, We'll let you guys know when we can, and... Um, And ultimately, what I was saying is, look, the cool thing is, yes, JJ does have this anime larger than life character. Any one of you guys who spend five minutes away from the persona which drives him as a boxer, you can't confuse that. This is what drives JJ. When you hang out with him and have a cup of tea, I've never had a cup of tea with you, have I? Yeah, yeah, I'm not really. But he's, he's a humble, chill guy, right? And at the end of the day, he knows he's got realistic expectations. He's like, I'm the best on this scene. Mm. Uh, Duck Paul says he wants to be a future champion and a Hall of Famer, and he'll be a Hall of Famer for being a duck. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. No more Jake Paul, though. Let's, let's make this, uh, this is about KSI tonight. Just a question about the potential KSI Tommy Fury fight, Jen. Uh, obviously, it would be huge here, massive. Mm. The number seems to be like it is in Saudi. Would that something that you would sell Saudi and take over there? No. No. It will be definitely here. Please, here. UK. Yeah. yeah, yeah. UK, baby. <laughs> I mean, just, sorry, no, but it's the Saudi, right? Also, yeah. also, just to say on the, sta- on the stadium front, it's definitely, a, it's, a, it's 100% a stadium fight. But the problem is the time of the year, it's the Premier League season. Unfortunately, my team is the only team where the stadium would be possible because they have that special pitch, but there's not a chance in hell I'm going to convince him to do it at Tottenham. So we're really, we're sort of stuck on the stadium part of things. Uh, so mm. I think you are old stadium doesn't oh, manage to do that. Oh, but, yeah. but, but, <laughs> no, I don't want to start that fight with a bad open. You know, it's going so It's either Manchester or London. <laughs> Right, thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you very much for coming. Appreciate that. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Thank you. Oh. No, uh, you know that change? That does change. Yeah, but... No, it's a nice stadium, but...